Okay, we're starting day five on this project. We're going to pull out the rest of this dirt that's in the area for the new brick paved sidewalk. Uh, first part of the project's complete down there. It has the crushed gravel in it, waiting for the sand. So I have a four foot square area that's going to be a step up. I'm going to work on that today, try to get that finished. and. And I'll have to go get another load of rock. So let's get started on it. Well, it's day six on the epic rebuild the sidewalk job. Day five, all the footage was unusable. So I do have an intro to that that I will add to the beginning of this. So today we're going to finish digging out the, the seven and a half inch bed for the rock and we will get the new rock, new rock foot in and get everything cleaned up and just doing some tidying up at the end hopefully hopefully so um gonna look into getting the brick now and we'll see how that goes so let's get started okay so started out putting out a tarp because I'm going to separate the, the rock that is on top of this dirt so I'm going to pull all of this rock off separate it on the tarp so I can use it after I get all the dirt out I'm going to put that down in the bottom I'm going to reuse that rock and it keeps the keeps the area tidy to work in keeps it kind of cleaned up and you can move the, that rock or the bad dirt if you have bad dirt separate it with a tarp you can move it around by pulling the tarp it's much easier to pull a tarp than it is to uh, shovel a bunch of dirt so I had rock laying on top of this dirt that was under the concrete before so the idea is to reuse this rock so I scraped it off, put it on the tarp. We're gonna pull the dirt out. We're gonna put down our barrier and then place this on top of the barrier before the new crush rock goes in. Some really hard dirt here. Stuff was nearly solid clay. Had a really hard time getting through it. I had to use the Hilti actually to break the, break the clay so I could pull it away so I could even get a shovel uh, through it. You can see here I'm struggling. Struggling hard. Taking my measurements. Uh, I haven't had precise measurements through the whole thing. Just, uh, they've been ballpark, um, just so that I know that I have enough. And I'm gonna go back and get everything precise, trim it all out, clean it up. Now, the good thing is I have a lot of low spots in my yard. It's a good time to, if you need to uh, level your yard up, this is a great time to do that. You can use this, there's a lot of extra dirt that came out of this job. And you can use this dirt to fill in all those low spots. Uh, if you have old tree stumps that have rotted and you have sinkholes, it's a great opportunity to fill those in. I know we have some really bad spots and uh, one big tree stump that has started to give way and this was a great great time to use the dirt to uh, fill in those holes it takes a lot of dirt to fill in a tree stump that's been uh, pulled out so that's what i'm doing i'm moving the dirt around to the tree stump there and we're putting it in some low areas in the yard Places that always uh, have issues when it rains. Uh, front yard doesn't drain well when it rains. 
it all pulls and doesn't drain out into a ditch so we are building the level of the yard up to drain it to grade the level off into the ditch and you can see Ayla there playing you usually see her in all my videos Doesn't look like I've made much progress, but believe me, that's a lot of dirt I've moved out of there. about do it for this episode we got plenty more coming it's going to be probably four more episodes at least on this job so uh, come back and join us uh, like share and subscribe and that's the way I do it we'll see you next time